Hey everybody, my name is Rhino, and today we're looking at all the new Witchwood cards for Hearthstone. Please subscribe and click that notification bell, even if you don't think you need to. Now, the new expansion, Witchwood, isn't quite out yet, but the cards have been patched into the game. So, you can, uh, for a while now, you could have bought this pre-purchase uh, thing for $50, uh, but you can... Uh, also just buy cards. I, I, no, I guess you can't. You can only buy the pre-purchase deal. And we've got some cards. If you've been playing for the past few weeks, you should have been getting quite a few packs of different expansions. But at least on my Asian account, you can see the cards. And that's where I want to start and, and go through all the druid cards and all the character class cards and see what's new. There have been leaks before this, like not really leaks, but just trickled out announcements of cards, talking one by one, trying to build up that hype train. It's not really necessary, uh, in my opinion, to be on that hype train for the next expansion. N once you can see the cards in the game and really look at them yourself, that's the point to start. So how do you look at them? Well, you may right now have to be on the Asian account, but in a day or two, uh, you'll certainly be able to see it on your America's account. You just go in the crafting mode to see cards that you don't have because obviously nobody has Witchwood cards. And then that shows you the standard set Witchwood. If you're not in crafting mode, however, notice it is not there. So easy to miss. Uh, so then I can just select Witchwood and that will show me only the Witchwood cards that I have but then you can click this box and see uncraftable cards and that's where we are right now all of these are uncraftable because the expansion hasn't quite unlocked yet so we're gonna just go through each card right click them bring up this and look at them the idea here is to see all the new cards and start opening up our minds to what is available as far as abilities, what cards are going to be available. I plan after the new expansion to make probably nine decks, one for each character class that I build directly from my own thoughts. And then I'm going to use an app that I use, which is Hearthstone Deck Tracker, which connects to a website called hsreplay.net, which will tell me what their statistics uh, have for the best kind of decks, the most winning and successful decks uh, are compared to my collection of cards. And we'll see how well that works. Uh, and almost certainly, whatever kind of crazy decks I build are not going to be anywhere as good as what hsreplay.net tells me. Uh, the main thing we're interested in is new ideas, new explanations. There's a couple of keywords that are going to be added. I think there may be even a keyword that is going to be uh, eliminated in this expansion. You can see it says not yet released. Otherwise, there would be a button here where I could use my dust to craft these cards, and they don't want to allow that. So let's begin. This is a two-mana spell card called Witchwood Apple. Add... 3, 2, 2 trints, 2 meaning 2 attack, 2 health, trints to your hand, which um, the cards in Hearthstone still don't really explain enough. Like, you don't know if this would be a 0 mana 2-2 two, two trint in your hand, or a 1 mana 2-2 two, two trint, or even a 2 mana 2-2 two, two trint. It could be even higher, but I doubt it. So... You really do have to play some cards or see somebody else play them until you fully understand what they do. Particularly cards like this that add things to your hand or create cards out of nowhere. Often those cards don't have any equivalencies that you can see in your collection. So it would be really nice if they used up some of the space here or here. Of course, Hearthstone is also designed to run on cell phones, so... Uh, the space that's extra here on the desktop version isn't really that extra on a cell phone version. But it would be really nice if I could see what those cards look like. See the art. It would also be nice if you could just 
right click a second time and get higher resolution images of the cards uh, not that this is particularly low resolutions it's just not full screen and you do get your artist credit but uh, that's about it moving forward though we kind of need to take move as fast as possible now that we've done the setup and not go too long we're going to break this up into different recordings so this will be our druid recording and then we'll move to each one and then there'll be a very long neutral episode two where we go through the vast majority of cards will be neutral next we have a three mana two attack two health creature called druid of the scythe choose one transform a four two into a four two with rush rush is a new keyword or two four with taunt um i believe the keyword rush means it can attack a minion but it can't attack a hero so you can't do damage to your opponent's enemy hero in the first attack uh, they wanted to add that new concept so they could give more cards something like charge while not being hamstrung with having cards that could potentially win a game um, too quickly or you can choose a 2-4 with taunt. Taunt is the old uh, key phrase where uh, you can't attack your hero until you've defeated all of your enemies that have taunt. There is a legendary card for this class that makes your choose ones do both. So if that legendary card has been played, you would get a 4-2 creature with rush and a 2-4 with taunt which is not bad for that strategy uh, next we have a three mana spell draw a card gain one armor for each card in your hand i believe the maximum amount of cards you can have in your hand is it's not seven it's something i think maybe nine maybe ten hmm i should know that for as long as i've been playing hearthstone it doesn't come up very often. Maybe it will start coming up more. Uh, often you have the exact opposite problem where you have too few cards in your hand, not too many. Uh, so maybe if you can have 10 cards in your hand, maybe you'll get 10 armor for playing this. Which for three mana might be a good card, it might not. Um, there's so far no real armor play with the druid you just get it and use it there's no uh weapons like the warrior has where you can destroy an, a minion or deal damage to a minion equal to the amount of armor you have um, that's i believe called shield slam uh, but that's a warrior card not a druid card Next we have a three mana spell called Witching Hour. Summon a random friendly beast that died this game. Um, e, probably not a card I'd want to play. It, it makes the supposition that one beast you play is going to be very necessary to some kind of strategy. And it would be worth the three mana to bring them back to life, which it probably isn't. Generally speaking, beasts are the cannon fodder creatures that you play them, they get one attack, maybe two attacks uh, against the enemy, and then they die, and then you replace them with another beast. This works in the exact opposite of that strategy. Uh, next, we have a four mana, one attack, six health creature called the Forest Guide. At the end of your turn, both players draw a card. This could be helpful in making your opponent run out of cards a little bit faster and keeping you stocked with cards. But generally speaking, if you're making a deck built around the concept of making your opponent run out of cards, you're going to lose. Um, unlike Yu-Gi-Oh, where if you run out of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, you just immediately lose the game. And honestly, I feel like Hearthstone should probably, instead of making somebody immediately lose because they ran out of cards, I think maybe they should 
have both people just win in a draw like in theory i've i've had this very long going problem with hearthstone where at best they're making a game designed so that you win 50 percent of the time which is just far too low of a win ratio so if they change the rules drastically very drastically to the point where when either player runs out of cards it's a draw well game well fought congratulations you both win you both get a star you both go up and ranked that could be cheated certainly but it would be an extremely slow cheating process uh, even if two players were able to match each other up in, in ranked play by some system that i don't know of it would still take them a, a at least i would say 10 turns to draw all 30 cards that you have to have um, and it would certainly be a way to make more people happier more often uh, but that's not how it is now hmm. next we have a four mana spell called whispering woods summon a one one wisp for each card in your hand so there is definitely a strategy that they're building towards where you are going to play with a lot of cards in your hand the druid doesn't have an ability so far that i've seen to constantly draw more cards i guess this card would be about the the most we've seen uh he's not like the warlock who has a special ability to take two damage and draw a card each each time you use your hero power so having three cards built around that strategy is probably not enough um you would need i would say closer to seven to to really make something make sense next we have a five mana four attack one health creature called bewitching guardian it has taunt and a battle cry to gain plus one health for each card in your hand so that is now if i can count right i believe four or five cards that are built around the number of cards in your hand next we have a five mana three attack seven health legendary that's what this dragon frame is all about creature called dusk fallen aviana on each player's turn the first card plays cost zero interesting this feels like a card that will get played a lot if people have it i'm noticing something while well, this card talks about beasts which are actually more about hunter both the druid and the hunter make play beasts this minion is not labeled as anything let's see this minion is not labeled as anything this minion isn't labeled as anything and this minion isn't labeled as anything so none of these are beasts and that seems weird it's very very strange that there'd be no label on any of them uh, like here is the first beast we have it is a five mana two attack six health creature called the gloom stag taunt if you your deck has only odd cost cards gain plus two plus two this is part of a strategy that they're i don't think they introduced it in the last expansion like but they're going to introduce it in this expansion or maybe there was a couple of cards in the last expansion that had cards that did this um being so many years into hearthstone you could pretty easily if you've got a mostly complete collection of cards you could pretty easily make a deck with only odd cost cards and it wouldn't drastically affect your gameplay style now i it, you'd have to do a lot of math to see if it really is worth this one beast for five mana to to potentially get a four plus eight with taunt uh, you probably could get something similar a lot easier than removing all the even cost cards in your uh, in your play and there there is a 
issue there, certainly. Um, if you have no odd cost cards, that means, let's see, if we assume one is is a odd number, you have no one mana card, so you can't play anything on the first turn. On the second turn, you can play something. On the third turn, you can play something that costs two minions, but you lose another mana crystal there. On the fourth turn, you can play two, uh, uh, either a two or a four co mana cost card, and then you're fine. But on your fifth turn, you lose another, uh, another mana crystal because you could only play either a, a two twos or one four thing again. And it just keeps going up and up like that until you hit 10. And at 10, you don't get any more mana crystals. So you could always play any 10 mana cards that you might have in your deck. Or uh, a bunch of 8 mana things. Uh, so yeah. I'm not sure that this will ever make sense. Until... We see some legendaries that do something to, to make this make sense. And then our final, final druid card is an 8 mana, 8 attack, 8 health legendary character called Splinter Graft. Battlecry, choose a friendly minion, add a 10, 10, 10 attack, 10 health copy to your hand that costs 10 mana. Which I'm not sure that this strategy as far as a card works too well if we were to just look at all the wild cards from Madrid and that's going to include everything that I own so and this is on my Asian account so that's not that much uh, I didn't really see anything in this new expansion that plays directly to a strategy and I can't for the life of me think of a reason why you would want a specific druid card to be a 10-10 version of itself plus 10. Uh, one of the issues I suppose you might see, see is we, we had no healing spells in this new expansion these newer expansions really are just filling in gaps to things that already we've already got so many cards doing something we didn't see the adapt key phrase used at all in fact we didn't see uh, any uh, quite a few different key phrases used let's see hmm Yeah, I'm really, really trying to think here. Why would you want a 10-10 version of a card? Like best case scenario, you make a card that... Hmm, that is cheap for like 2 min mana and play this on the 10th turn or maybe what you do is you play this on the ninth turn you you spend one mana to make a 1 1 play this turn that 1 1 into a 10 10 it gives you a very generic 10 10 card and that's it so yeah nothing super surprising as far as the druid expansion i wouldn't be surprised if that's how this goes for all of the cards well that's going to be it for this recording looking at the druid things we'll in the next recording uh, cover the next hero and then we'll eventually get to the neutral cards as always i ask that you like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box remember it, when the new expansion comes out we will be opening 
more than 50 cards on three different accounts so that is 150 card packs the vast majority of that will probably be witchwood cards although some of it may just be some classic cards for my european and asian accounts if you want to support my channel even further than liking and sharing and subscribing and clicking the notification bell, you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game on Steam. That's a better monetization policy right now than anything else I can think of. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.